hey guys welcome back um today's video is inspired by thanksgiving um this might be a little dramatic for you um for thanksgiving but when i think of it i think of like cranberries and like beige and tans so i did a spotlight um eyeshadow look and did it with matte colors usually i see it with like a shimmer in the middle um you can definitely you know switch up the colors and do as you like but i thought it came out really cool um i got to use a few new products that i received including my lipstick and lip gloss from gerard cosmetics so if you're interested in learning how to get this look even though you can't really see it because i'm kind of far um please keep watching so to start this look, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows using the Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The trick that I use to not over apply is I apply a little bit on my hand and then dip my brush in the product that's on my hand. A little bit does go a very long way with this product. Now I'm going to just be cleaning up my brows with some concealer. Now I'm going to use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I'm going to use Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek as my transition color. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to start packing on a lighter shade of brown. Um, this is Saddle by MAC and this is just going to help the darker color that I apply on top of it just transition better into the middle light shade. This will all make sense in a little bit, I promise. Now I'm just going back in with a fluffy brush to blend that out. Using the Amrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be taking the shade Deep Plum and Caramel. Okay, so I'm putting Camel in the center of my lid. That's going to be my lightest shade that I'm using. And just pack it on. Now I'm kind of just packing on the deep plum color. Um, as you can see, it's not super neat. I'm just packing it on and then I'm gonna blend it out with uh, the fluffy brush. Now the trick for this is apply a little bit, blend it out, and you can always pack on more little by little and uh, drag it in farther. You're gonna see me go in, um, in with the pencil brush and then also with the blending brush multiple times to just keep packing on the color and blending it out. See as you can see I didn't drag the, the, the deep plum shade in enough so I packed it on a little bit and I'm gonna blend it out and continue from there. I'm 
I'm just packing on some of the caramel color. And blending once again. Using vanilla, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And I'm using social eyelashes in the style Minx. Using Max Concealer, I'm highlighting under my eyes. Now this looks extremely light for me and it's because I'm going to blend my foundation up into my highlight. Um, you'll kind of see my style, well technique, um, in the next clip. So I'm going to be applying this on the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, and on my chin. Now the trick with the foundation, um, so that it, it keeps my highlighted areas light, I'm going to be feathering it up into the highlight. Um, so you're not going to see me put my brush directly on top of my highlighted areas. I'm going to just kind of lightly blend the foundation up into it. And the same thing goes for my chin and my nose. I'm not going directly over the highlighted areas. I'm kind of just blending my foundation into it so that it looks um, like a smooth transition. Using the Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm going to be taking the shade Earth and Banana um, to set my under eyes and also contour my face. The brush I'm using is by Real Techniques and it's a, a setting brush. This brush is a new one that I'm using and I actually really like it. It's by Morphe and it's really good to contour. I'm using that setting brush just to go back in and uh, diffuse my nose contour a little bit. You don't want it to look like there's two harsh lines there. So using Plum and Caramel, I'm going to be doing the same spotlight effect on my lower lash line. Plum is going to be on the two outer corners while Caramel's in the middle. And I'm just going to be blending them both together. Of course, you have to apply mascara. I'm going to be applying blush to the apples of my cheeks. And using Gold Digger from Artist Couture, I'm going to be using this as my highlight on the tops of my cheeks, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. This highlight is awesome. Um, the camera diffuses it a little bit, but it really is such a great highlight. I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus by MAC um, to make the highlight more prominent. It definitely makes a difference.
Now I'm going to be using Cherry Cordial from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a brand new lipstick um, for their line. And I'm going to be topping it with Seduction Lip Gloss. Um, both of these are a must have in my book for fall and winter. Now after this, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. suggestions you guys have we'd love to hear it um, please just leave it below comment you know you can follow us on instagram at luministas we love hearing from you guys we do post a lot of like swatches and um, new products that are just coming out so you guys can check that out as well and once again we do want to say thank you to you all um, thanksgiving makes one year for us and we really appreciate all of you following us and liking our videos and giving us such kind feedback all the time. Um, this is only the beginning of our journey, so we're happy that you guys are here to continue with us. Bye guys.